gunfire just outside of a downtown Indianapolis hotel. Nearly 15 people have been shot. Gun violence claims the life of another Indianapolis youth. Four people shot. The city's 148th homicide of the year. The coroner's office released the names of the victims who are identified as 18-year-old Eric Colvin and 22-year-old Justice Wills. He was very loud and full of life. <sighs> and I miss him a great deal every day. just my boy you know he just loved his mama and I loved him put yourself in our position just even for a second because I would never want any other mother to ever have to endure the agony that it is to lose your child and not only to lose your child but to have someone deliberately decide that your child is no longer worth living If you know something, say something, you know? I mean, there's so many people dying, not just our young kids. I mean, it's everyone. You know, they're going around, they're shooting at people's homes, they're shooting at parks, they're shooting at schools, they're shooting at funerals, you know, and people are dying. And these people are important to other people. You know, it's not fair that someone is just stolen from you. You have to stop being afraid and take your neighborhoods back and say, hey, we're not gonna put up with this anymore. This person that did this lives here. This person that did that lives here. We have to come together in the same way as when an officer shoots a person of color, when these things are happening in our own community. Our children are being assassinated and slaughtered by each other and no one's doing anything. All I have left now is the yesterdays that I had with him. I have no more tomorrows. This, this is what someone decided his life was going to come to, was a lot of memories and pictures. My son will be forever 22, and that's how he will look forever. It's time to stop. Snitches get stitches. I ain't no snitch. Or you're going to be sitting in this chair having this conversation with Mr. Vic like I am about your child. <laughs>